Hello, hello, welcome back to the iLog channel. My name is Casey, and thank you so much for joining me for another episode of my Minecraft survival series. In today's episode, we're going to be picking up where we left off in the last one and continuing to dig out the quad slime chunk in preparation for a big slime farm. Now, my hope is that by the end of this episode, this project will be complete. But there is still quite a ways left to dig. So, we'll see. And we return to the pit. Ooh, there we are. Ooh, and I see a slime down there, too. That's good. All right, let me get these shulker boxes all set around here. There we go. And now, really... All that there is left to do is just go down there and uh, keep on digging. And that's really just the plan. I'm just going to dig and dig, I guess, until I get to the bottom of the world. And then uh, from there, I'll start working on the design for the actual farm part of the slime farm. So here I go. Whoa! Oh, no. I thought I got the elytra in time. Wow. I just barely survived that. Uh, I think, yeah, thankfully I have feather falling. That slime is trying. It's, it's really trying. Anyway, I've made it down to the deep slate part and uh, it no longer instant mines, even with haste too. So I've decided to uh, implement another solution for clearing out a lot of this area and hopefully saving some of my pickaxe durability so I'm not having to repair it as much. Uh, I'm digging out some holes and in these holes. Let's see, is that the same spacing? Yeah. Putting in TNT. Three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, that's four. Okay, cool. So yeah, <laughs> just going to be putting TNT. I'm going to do in like the four quadrants like each chunk I'll do one in the middle and then I'll see what needs done after from there. Alrighty, so I've got the TNT placed in in the uh, four spots down here. Ooh, secret skeleton. Wow. Um, yeah, and I don't have much TNT left, so I'm hoping that this takes out a good uh, chunk of it. Let's start here. Ooh. Oh. Oh, well, that's not what I wanted to happen at all. I thought they were close enough to uh, chain all the way down. Well, this might be a lot slower of a process than I thought. Man, I was so sure this was like such a good idea. I'm gonna have to like go through each tunnel manually. Is that gonna light that on fire? Ooh, yep, yeah, there it goes. Alright, so as we can see down here in the uh, free cam, the TNT really didn't do much. I mean, it did something, but that is a notable amount of blocks gone. But not enough. I was hoping it would, uh, break more. And I used up all the TNT I had, so... Yeah, and I did pepper some more TNT on top of the rock face here, or on top of the surface here, but, uh, yeah, still didn't do as much as I want it. So it's going to be just a lot of manual digging again. All right. So I have had a realization that I'm probably not going to have this part done by the time this episode needs to go out. So I think what I'll do is in the background, uh, between videos, I'll just keep chipping away at it and chipping away at it. And the next time you see this area is when I'll actually be ready to start putting the uh, slime farm together. But as for now, this is going to be uh, <laughs> all you're going to see of it for a while now because this has just taken much longer than I thought, especially now that the uh, deep slate doesn't instant mine, even with the beacon, even with haste 2, deep slate doesn't insta mine, so it's just a much slower process. So uh, instead, today what we're going to go do is build the armory in my uh, castle because my armor starting to get low on durability so having some other sets that i can wear uh would be advantageous for me i think so i may just leave this bed and the ender chest here 
I can always make another ender chest and put one like permanently up in my uh, castle or something. And I'll leave all these shulkers here because I probably won't need them. And I'll just leave this whole setup here. And uh, I'll come back sometime and do some more digging. But for now, we're going to go out and uh, head back to the castle. Alrighty here, back in the castle. And before I start on the armory, I just wanted to show y'all that uh, the stones to chest array here completely full and so now we have this corner here as stones three and yeah just so much stone from this project it's crazy totally crazy and so i've gathered up uh all the armor and armor stands from the farmhouse and originally i was gonna have this area over here as like a guest room area but i'm thinking i want this to be the armory this whole, like, from this angled corner to that angled corner. Seems kind of big for an armory, so maybe I'll split it up. But I think for now, maybe it should be big. So I'll start taking out these walls, and then I'll think about where I want the doorway into here to be. I may do, like, a big arched doorway in the middle. Alrighty. So I've dug out the area where the floor is going to go here and uh, taken down all the walls and stuff got the little archway in it's a pretty stout archway <laughs> uh because uh the, these hallways are only three blocks tall so it was necessary to make it kind of short but it works and i think it gives off the vibe of archway uh and i've decided on a floor um in keeping with the sort of checker theme from the main uh hall or main entryway whatever but that was a sort of uh, classic black and white checkerboard. Uh, this one is going to be granite and andesite, a sort of uh, gray and red-ish checkerboard. So that's really step one here is getting the floor in. And then I can start thinking about what I want the uh, walls to look like and how I'm going to light it. Not sure about lighting yet. Alrighty, so I've gotten the uh, floor in over here and even did a little bit of work on the hallway here. Um, there's no floor in yet, but we have a ceiling up here and there's a little bit of hallway floor here, but yeah, this area is done or at least the floor is done. Uh, I still need to work. I still need to work out the, uh, walls and then the ceiling. I figure since it's an armory, it should be big and tall. So I have up to that height. That has to be the floor of the second floor. So I have really, how many extra blocks is that? Three extra blocks to work with. Uh, more realistically, two extra blocks, because I don't know if I want the roof to be spruce wood. So I may do a block below the spruce wood for the ceiling. But that's still pretty good, I think. Uh, a good amount of height there. Uh, the thing I'm trying to work on now is the walls. I don't know if I want there to be like a block spacing and then you come in and then the wall is actually here or the wall could even be here just like a extra one block thickness there as well as i'm not really sure what to do with these corners maybe there could be armor there i don't know it may have something else over here maybe this could be like weapon storage or something i don't know but i feel like that would be better over here although over here this could be like the workshop area i could have like a smithing table Maybe a grindstone or something. I'm not really sure, but yeah, this could be like the workshop area. And then all along this back wall where it's flat could be where the actual armor is. And the way I'm thinking of dividing it up is having each... Uh, is having each bit of armor be in a, uh, a little cubby bookended with quartz pillars. And I could maybe even do a thing where the quartz pillars go up and kind of wrap into the ceiling. That could be cool. And then just for example, like that, and then have some kind of lighting above them so that each one would be lit up. Maybe like a stair block, like a block of glowstone here, and then a stair block, you know? Or even do like redstone lamps and then have them be able to be turned on and off, have like a light switch. There could be room for that redstone because the redstone could run up top and then you wouldn't have to uh, 
run it behind the wall because obviously right back here this is all uh <laughs> this is just an outside wall here so yeah and then uh just to empty out my inventory a bit let's uh put these up there we go and that leaves plenty of slots for armor i don't think i'll ever even get close to filling up all of these but it's a good starting point to have uh, let me go check on my redstone supply and see how many lamps i have because i do like that idea of uh lights that i can turn on and off i have a couple i should be able to make more i think i have more glowstone yikes or not huh i thought i had more glowstone well i've got some glowstone dust but i guess i can hop into the nether really quick and uh get myself some more glowstone and then like that like that all along there and then have a light switch over here or something or even over here maybe this could be like I don't know what this space is going to be, but maybe that's where I'll have the light switch. So let me hop into the nether and find some glowstone. Found a uh, nice vein of glowstone real high up here in the nether. But hopefully I should be able to mine out most of this as long as that gas doesn't bother me. Okay, that's not going to hit. Wait, maybe... <laughs> oh, I don't see a gas tier, but I also don't know if it would load in from this far away. But definitely feel better not having a uh, gas hanging around. Woo! Jeez. Even with an elytra on, this can be a uh, very nerve nervous process. <laughs> there we go. Oh, boy. All right. Let's see here. All right, we're good. You know, I probably could have just built like a uh, cobblestone platform under here. Then I wouldn't be losing so much of this stuff to the lava, but yeah. I hear another ghast somewhere. Ooh, there we are. Okay, that was a much easier shot <laughs> than the last one. All right, so I've gathered up some redstone components and I actually think I'll need few more. I think my white wool. Here we go. I like to use wool just as like filler blocks in redstone stuff. I got all the uh, lamps placed in and all the stairs. So now let's just go up here and place in some wool. Now I kind of have this idea of all the lamps kind of like cycling on across the whole thing so that I want like a repeater between each one set to I'm not exactly sure how many ticks but ooh, how am I going to do this there's not a lot of room hmm well before I figure that out let's just see what the uh timing delay is like here okay it's pretty slow or that, that was pretty fast i meant let's make it slower three ticks should be good also i'll also need to hide some lighting up here because it is kind of dark so i don't know if mobs can spawn on redstone here we go we'll do a torch there torch there and then one down in that corner, and that should keep everything lit up enough. And let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Now, something I hadn't considered... Ooh, I'll have to take out some of the torches here, so it's actually dark enough to make a difference. That's going to be hard. Lighting up the room enough so that these aren't completely pitch black, but having it be noticeable enough when the uh, armory turns on. So, hmm, how do I want to do this? Because I could run a repeater. I think I can do this, right? Does that create a uh, 
Valid redstone? Whoops. Uh, hey, I can transmit it through the wall. <gasps> okay, so I may be able to hide the redstone pretty well. So it'll transfer through the wall. And then there'll just be some redstone going like that. Awesome. Which I guess means there is going to have to be some kind of wall here. Which I guess can just be like stone bricks or something. Or maybe quartz. I only have quartz pillars on me now, but... Yeah, and also then this stair block should be like that. Designating an ending. Ugh, that's not good. Maybe like... No. Hmm. Well, either way... I could run the quartz trim up to the ending, like that, and then, hmm, I guess just stone brick for now. Maybe I'll come up with something else later. But then here, it's going to be a lever, and then that's going to activate, let me see how I want this redstone to go, so lever is going to turn on that block which can then run up here. That, is that gonna work? Yes, cool. It's gonna run up here, and we're gonna run a repeater, and break that. Bring this redstone up one, bring in another repeater, and that should be. Cool. And then I'm going to set this repeater to a two tick delay, so we get a total of three ticks from the light switch to the first light. Actually, maybe it should be really delayed, like, like that. This torch is also going to need moved. How dark is it in these cubbies? Four blocks, five blocks. There is light bleeding in. Ooh, that's like complete darkness there. Throw a torch there. Yeah, I mean, as long as mobs can't spawn, I'm okay. Though, I don't know... Ooh. I don't know if mobs can spawn on armor stands. So I might be safe there. Because technically they're entities, so I don't think they can spawn where another entity is. But, let's see here. Let's flip that switch. And then, yeah, all the lights kick on. That's cool. Then the ceiling... Hmm. There's an idea. I thought the ceiling was going to be really tall, but maybe it would be better have the quartz trim go around the whole room like this. Ooh. Then what am I going to do when I get to the archway here? Like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Have it go around like that, and then maybe have the ceiling, I could almost do like a sort of kind of dome, maybe. Like a very oblong dome. Let me uh, figure something out here. Alrighty, so things are mostly done in here. I uh, ended up not going with quite as high of a ceiling, but I realized I didn't want to make it flat spruce either, so I had this idea to inset it. Uh, with some stairs and then have this little dark prismarine uh, inlay or accent, I guess. I'm not sure exactly what the right word is, but yeah. And then I added in uh, some pretty evenly spaced uh, fence posts with lamps on top of them for lighting. I think the darkest point is around here at one block, or uh, sorry, one light level. There's one light level here. Um, but of course we can remove the darkness, uh, as if darkness is something that can be removed through the addition of light. Um, does darkness ever truly go away or is it just hiding? Who knows? But what we do have here is a nice little, uh, lit up armor stand thing that we can just control with the flick of a lever. And I love the delay. It makes it feel very like... Uh, old uh, like fluorescent lights you know you'd flip the switch and they all kind of kick on one at a time um, 
So all I really need here now is uh, some more armor stands. And let me just see if I remember what materials I'll even need for those. I think it's stone slabs or is it smooth stone slabs? Let me check here. Smooth stone slabs and sticks. I hope I have some of those. I do. And I can even make more. And then sticks, I should have plenty of. Let's see how many of these things I can craft. Oof, just nine. Uh, do I have more sticks anywhere? No, but I do have some wood. <laughs> 14, I think I need more than that. Uh, I don't want to take all from my spruce supply. Jeez, I don't have many other full blocks in here. Let's go cherry wood sticks. Not that it makes a difference. Wrong block. Nice. Two stacks of 16. That should be plenty good. There we go. Nice. Wait. Huh. What's up with the legs being like slightly unaligned? What What is up with that? They're like... Oh! Oh! You know what I bet it is? If the legs were in identical positions, there would be Z fighting in between the uh, middle parts of the armor. So I bet they offset the legs there just slightly. So there's no Z fighting. I bet that's that's it. Speaking of armor, I think though this armor is powerful and strong, it doesn't have mending. And it's starting to get very low on durability. Could even hang my elytra up in here, but I probably won't do that. Either way, I'll have to make a, a new set of armor. But that won't be in this episode. Also over here I got the little workstation set up. Just uh, all my smithing templates and then smithing table there. I'll probably add like a little desk here. I could even probably do that right now. Let's see. Oh, I don't have enough slabs. What if one of them's stone? <laughs> there we go. It's like a little um, cutting board, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. Hmm, maybe I could uh, make both parts of it. Oops. Yeah, there we go, sure. Little table. Yeah. But I do believe that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, if you like this episode, consider leaving a like down there. It really helps out the channel. Uh, and if you're not subscribed yet and you want to see more of the series and more of the uh, other content I put out on this channel, you can also click that subscribe button down there too. And uh, check the notification bell, and that way you'll get notified every time I upload. And with all that being said, I'm Casey from the iLog channel, and this is me, signing out. Bye now. <laughs>